I have a problem. I love my ortholinear small boat keyboard. I know what you're thinking. How is that a problem? Well, dear viewer, because I am an idiot, and I didn't realize how badly I built this thing until about two years later. It has two major problems. It is loud as hell, and it has, on multiple occasions, literally broken in half. These issues are due to how I built it. First off, I used Aqua Blue switches, which are pretty good tactile switches, if I'm being honest, but the case was printed on my Ender 3 with only 20% infill. This means that the whole case is just a big amplifier for the key presses, which, as you might imagine, is not great, especially if you want to use this somewhere like, I don't know, an office. The other issue, the cracking, comes from how I had to cut this in half to get it on the print bed, which, that's on me for being dumb. I love everything else about this keyboard, the ortho, the fact that it runs KMK. So with that in mind, I set out to design a keyboard that is designed to be 3D printed on an Ender 3 or Ender 3 clone and can be built using a single pack of switches and sounds and feels really good. I started by watching a bunch of Joe Scotto videos about how he designs keyboards and then gave it a shot. And this is what I came up with, the Fitz 43. Wait a second, before I show you the final board, I need to show you how I built it. Let's hit the stats and then do a typing test. Controller, Raspberry Pi Pico. Firmware, KMK. Switches, Akko Rose Red Linears with a 43 gram spring and a single box is 45 switches. The case was 3D printed in one piece with 100% infill and the plate was 3D printed in one piece with 100% infill. With that out of the way, let's head over to a typing test. All right, that's all I've got on this board. I will be putting the case up on printables along with a brief build guide and the code. I have discovered that I very much miss my number row. So I am also going to be releasing the FITS 54, which has an additional row of switches on top. The code for that one is untested uh, because I haven't built it. So that is something that I do plan to do and I will update that as it goes. Leave comments below on what you think, and make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, I rolled over 500 subscribers on my last video, so thanks everyone for that. I really appreciate it. Okay, bye!